uh, get a few siege tanks out there. It takes nine banelings to take out one siege tank. So that right there would just, if I sent a siege tank that way, had them all blow up, there'd only be one baneling left, maybe, uh, although the splash damage could get it. And looking at the units tab, once again, I might be able to move in and to do some heavy damage on his base, uh, but I'm too scared that the, these bailing pushes uh, continue to scare me. Uh, yes, the bailings do get in, uh, take out a few marines there, I almost take out the barracks. I uh, will need to go in and repair that, uh, otherwise it will slowly die of a fire. Three fires that are always in the same spot. Meanwhile, Spex is getting his third base here, his second expansion. While I'm still stuck on my main base, he's doing a great job of keeping Mac control, keeping me in my base with these occasional baneling bursts, uh, doing some great damage with that. While I continue to pump out the Marines and Marauders, I am just that stubborn, apparently. Um, not getting Banshees, not even thinking about Battle Cruisers. Uh, <laughs> still don't even have an add-on on my factory. I might as well float it up and throw it over at his base, see what's going on over there. I am not going to be using that, apparently. I do have 1-1 uh, one -one upgrades on uh, my infantry. Missile turrets going down because uh, I'm seeing, I'm not seeing enough beanlings to justify an entire um, build for him towards Baneling, so I'm suspecting mutas are going to be coming later on, but that is just a terrible spot there, uh, but it will help me if uh, Banelings do come across there that I will see him, but he is wisening up and moving around the other side with his mass Zerglings, all 64 of them it looks like. But I do have the medevacs out, so um gonna go out here and absolutely give up my ramp just leave it completely open for a run through um, does he see that no he doesn't so um how this is done and he does it perfectly as you'll see is that the banelings just ignore this army here who wants to fight them there's SCVs to be had. Juicy, yummy SCVs. More Baneling's coming in. And coming and coming out of their little shells. Uh, they've produced enough acid out of their ass, apparently, to explode everybody. And here they go. And they do have some sort of cool hooks, so you will see them rolling there. They see me rolling. And <laughs> no problem getting into my base, but they do back out. Oh no, uh, Bailey's going to take out this army, and you know I mean, what, three or four of them? And look how much damage they did, even with those medevacs. The Zerglings go in, uh, avoid the army altogether, going straight for the SCVs down here, it looks like. No, they're just kind of going around in circles there. No, they are going to engage my army, so this is a little mistake there. Uh, stim pack going down, trying to get the army back up. And but look, they're just absolutely destroying these marauders here. I uh, should have backed them up into the corner here where they couldn't get a complete surround. And now the the Zerglings, seeing the size of that army, seeing that they won't be able to take it out, moving down and taking out my armory. No, not the armory. They're gonna go down and warp next to my supply depots and take out my missile turret. But my army does get down there in time. D1 going down, no. Three coming out doesn't look like any of them are going to be able to get out uh, before they are destroyed. So a bad move on this part. We did have the advantage there. We could have easily moved in and destroyed my only SCV mining base here, taking them out, put me down to nothing. I do have enough minerals to cover for it, but it would put me behind greatly. Meanwhile, his third base is up and running with the minerals. Uh, he's 
actually got a ton of gas. He needs more minerals. Um, just poor saturation on that second base and on the third is or on the first as well on the main base as well as in the third. But he's got so many bases out there that he is absolutely crushing me in income, and he's using it better than I am at this point. Um, I actually still have my army down here, not even bothering to guard the ramp, completely unprotected, still have an SCV doing nothing here. Um, this bane lane rush um, has completely thrown me off my game. I uh, hadn't seen anything like it before, and as you, if you haven't been paying attention to my casts, um, when somebody does something new to me, it typically throws me off my game and I will lose. Uh, if it's the first time I've seen something like that, I don't do well. I don't even notice the bailing until it's too late. But they didn't do too much damage. Missile turf is hanging out. Did I, oh, I did set a rally point there, but these, uh, these three guys are just kind of hanging out, making sure nothing's going on at the barracks. Uh, assume they're hungry. And once again, just poor saturation from him is going to keep his minerals low, uh, but because he sent so many zerglings out, I am scared. I assume he's got so much more at the base. Uh, he's got a ton, I have a ton of marauders here, not enough um, marines, um, and of course he's going to bring out mutas, mutas and zerglings is a great combo for all you zerg players out there, especially against an army like this. Uh, the mutas can easily take out the marines, and the marauders, um, can, you, if you can get a surround on them uh, by, those, uh, by those zerglings, they can go down pretty fast. And of course you can morph them into banelings and completely decimate them. I am just now getting my second base. Meanwhile, he's had that third up for what? Uh, five, ten minutes now? So he's got uh, 12 mutas, uh, five banelings, and 26 zerglings. I have 19 marines, 19 uh, marauders, and seven medevacs. Uh, this is actually pretty even as far as I can tell. It's all just going to come down to positioning, how everything is used. Um, if I can get the, especially those banelings, if the banelings go down uh, before they can actually explode, uh, the battle should be mine. Um, what are we producing? Uh, he's getting a uh, flyer attack upgrade one for those mutas, producing six more, so he's ha going heavy on the mutas. Um, I am continuing to get uh, the Marine, Mars, and Medivacs. I should be using the factory getting tanks. Tanks. Tanks would be great all along here. It's a wide choke point here, uh, but it is a choke point that should be used, especially with the siege tanks. Um, they can block that off, especially with those banelings. Uh, they can explode those banelings early on. Uh, don't let them get to my army so they won't explode and wipe everything out. I do finally get that uh, second base up. And I always hate that uh, when you summon a mule, put it, put it on a mineral field, and it gets summoned behind the crystals and has to go all the way around. And the mutas are moving out. Looks like all 20 of them moving out, uh, staying away from the missile turrets that he saw down here, and just a uh, horrible throwing me off. I'm so uh, I'm just scared and thrown off by those banelings that it continues to affect me. Um, almost 10 minutes later since the last banelings came in, I'm just scared of them coming back, uh, and I don't bother blocking off the ramp anymore. I figure that if they can go through here, they could probably destroy my base entirely. So here come the mutas. I have no missile turrets guarding this expansion. And look how long it takes me to finally move my army to take it out. They've probably taken out about half my SCVs before I can get any kind of reaction. Everybody getting the... Uh, just impacts the hand, and he just don't even bother, just run away. Uh, I do move my Marauders in, even though they can't do any damage, just to receive some damage, 
to, to keep those uh, marines alive as long as possible, especially with those medevacs healing them. So he goes back up, and meanwhile we are going to be seeing a third base from me, 